Hello and welcome back to Royal St. George's. This is the Championship of the United Kingdom. This is the second part of our video. It's going to carry from holes 4 through around hole 12 of, or it might be 11, of the leaders, uh, the lead group here. So um, I forgot to unmute my mic when I recorded a large portion of this video, so bear with me as I'm trying to talk you through this. But we're going to start off here on hole 7 with the first group that's off. And this one's called Strath. Um, this course, again, made by Rob Marino uh, from The Real Course. Uh, it's got some interesting elements. You can have three different layers of difficulty. Uh, we're choosing sort of the middle, middle layer. But um, five par 5 here, first real easy hole on the course two degrees of course difficulty and we're going to get started uh, with it looks like it's going to be Shinji Kanishi so we got the roll here and it's a it's a white six there so that should be a patient par for Kanishi So, uh, Westinghouse now. Course controlled and then 56. So, 56 is, uh, it is golf cam course, but there does appear to be a, uh, so the decider die does not, so it is going to be golf cam course. And, um, Actually, Kanishi, that was a birdie because it was this is a semi double cordial and the decider die was good enough. Well, anyway, we go to golf cam course and because it's cordial, he gets a birdie putt and he makes the the, uh, the clutch birdie, being semi gold. Or actually, he's full gold, so uh, that's a birdie. Now Dustin Emmerich, who has had some issues here, two three six. And so if we go to the book here as the, he controls it. He's not a duffer. And then the next check is direct green. And this is a direct green. So it's going to be a moderate putt for Eagle. Now, Emmerich had two red chips at this point. I decided to use one to make it a difficult putt. And then he's going to lag the difficult Eagle putt. And so we take the black, green, and the dot. And we get two ones and a dot. That, in my lag rolling, that is a made double difficult and a made difficult and so he makes the eagle putt after burning a red chip and that was one of the frustrating parts about having this audio not come through <laughs> it was because i um uh, you know it's it's always better with the organic thing but it was a it was a great role it was interesting and it's always always emmerich that gets these freak rolls that happen it seems like he always ends up with things going his way but that's one of the few things that are, has gone his way because in his round, he is not in very good shape. Um, that got him back to two over par through seven holes, so not so great. Now we're to six, and it's going to be uh, Franz Hockel currently at minus five, and he is uh, not going to have control on this 36. It looks like rough and one. With a green four, it's probably going to be a moderate par there, I'm assuming. And he makes it. So, um, it's going to bring up now, uh, who will it be? It looks like Trent McAdams will be next. So, Trent, he's uh, struggling today as well. He's going to take, he needs a... He needs a, a one to three here, and he doesn't get that. He's going to earn a red chip as he misses the clutch putt. On the white six with two other sixes, you have to make a clutch putt for par to get that um, blue chip. He doesn't get it, so he has to accept his uh, easy bogey putt, which he makes. And now Max Elliott. Elliott. Uh, so 35, he is going to end up in the um, rough... And I should be following along here on the cards that are in front of me. Because this might be one of those... 
think this might have been a chance for a bunker, but the decider die is okay. So it's just going to be, not bunker, it's uh, the rough there. So rough and one with a green four. Again, this should be something like a, uh, well, I guess we already rolled him. So I it, he must have ended up with his par. Yeah. So uh, now it's going to be Aberly. He's buying control here on five since it's not daunting. And he gets 2-2-6. Two, two, and Aberly on a 2-2-6. Two, two, he is a champion. He'll have an easy birdie putt. So here we go with that. And it's a 4 on a 1-4. to four. It's a birdie for Aberly. And that moves him up to minus 7. So he has steadily been on the climb here today. Uh, that's two birdies. Did have a bogey, though. But still, he's now within three. So uh, Enrique Magallanes, uh, course controlled 15 on five, is going to be the bunker. And the decider die is going to say it's going to be one of these deep bunker chances. So I think that's what, if you can tell, it's tough to tell. Um, but anyway, I think he's going to bogey this. Yeah, he does. So, um, tough break for him. These, these bunkers have a deep bunker option. Uh, Su Chain Tien also, this is 34. That's going to be golf cam course with a four. That should end up as a par putt, probably an easy par putt. Yep. And he makes it. So anyway, that. You play it like water, but it's like deep. The bunker is so deep; it's got such a steep face that uh, you you really can't get a good uh, exit from the bunker, and so you have to take what you get. So now it's uh, Nick Yarlett. Uh, that's going to be sixty six on the fourth hole, which is going to be rough and one and a green six. This is going to be a double difficult par putt. So Yarlett. I mean, this is on four, I mean. So he's going to have to take this, uh, probably the lag here on four. And he lags it. Doesn't have Emmerich's luck. So he's going to now have an easy bogey. And he does hold that out on the three, four. So, just drops a shot there. Still one ahead. No big shakes there. It's going to be uh, Justin Wallace. Uh, he has control 3-5-6 on this par 4. He's not scatter or puny. Is he a champion? He is a champion. He will have an easy birdie putt. And he makes it. So birdie on 4 for Justin Wallace. And he's in that group of 3 that's right behind Yarla. And now Rowetter. Can he get a chance to tie? Okay, he has control 4-4, four, four, uh, four, now 4-6-6, four, six, six. Shaper, no, Hot, no, we go to Experience, it's a green 6, so that asks if he's an icon, and he is, it makes it a moderate birdie, he's going to make it easy, and he makes it. So a birdie for Rowetter, and he joins Yarlet at the top. So a good... Uh, Good start for Denny. He won, uh, back to even, well, he's back to even par. It wasn't a great start, but he gets it right back. So, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, I got to show. I, I was wondering, am I going to show the cards? This is hole eight. It's 450 uh, yards. What a what a name, Hades. <laughs> it's, uh, probably the bunkers are hell on this hole. And uh, so... It'll be Emmerich coming off the eagle. What a weird way to make an eagle. I think that's one of the few times, if ever, I've had someone make a difficult eagle putt after burning a chip on a lag. Uh, he'll take uh, his last uh, red chip being removed to take a patient par there, Emmerich. Kanishi. Uh, that'll be... 45, and that's going to be rough and two with a green five. That's probably a difficult par putt right there. Uh, 
Yeah, and he makes it, so. Now it's John Westinghouse, 25. That's going to be golf cam course with a two. That should be an easy par. That's no, There's no daunting on it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Maybe there was a caution symbol which made it uh, more difficult. Anyway, uh, Franz Ockel on the seventh here, the easy hole. Only two degrees of course difficulty. And he has control 226. Let's check out par five chart here. 226. Yeoman or Shaper? No, I don't think so champion he's not a champion either so it's experience so that's going to be a moderate birdie on the icon it's going to ask if he's an icon and he is and he doesn't make it so now he's going to need uh so it's a moderate birdie easy par so he makes his par then max elliott so uh yeah et what a movie long time ago seems like it's been forever really uh yeah, so it's two four six. Uh what does two four six do for Elliot? Oh boy, he ends up uh with the red chip, so that's probably uh hitting his semi utility there. Yep. So he ends up uh with a difficult par putt which he makes. So he had to go to gallery groans. So now it looks like he's got at least two chips there. And then uh we have uh Trent McAdams, he's going to get another, uh... well, let's see, since the decider dies, yes, I think this is actually a birdie for him, he doesn't get to lose the, uh... what did I do there, hmm, oh, that's why, it was a, uh, it was a special result, I forgot about that, we hit our special result, I think he went out of bounds, so even worse for him maybe let's see 23 was out of bounds yeah so tough break and then uh the course has control on 45 here on seven so that's uh, bunker and two but the decider die is also showing so it's got to be played like the water so you're going to add another stroke to it he's going to end up with a bogey putt which he makes but because of the two-stroke penalty from being out of bounds, that makes it a th uh, uh, triple bogey. And uh, pretty much seals his fate as far as this tournament goes to even par, plus five on the day. Tough for him. It's been a rough ride in this uh, tournament over here to uh, the... Uh, British Isles and hasn't really gone his way. So it looks like Rance Aberley is going to take a par here. Get a blue chip. Add to his trove of those. And now uh, Su Cheng Tian. Course control 23. is going to be golf cam green. Wait. Oh, I'm looking at five. Six is rough in one. And I didn't get to see that roll. Uh, I assume it was an easy par, which he made. This is a par 3 as well. So 25. That's going to be a deep bunker there. So tough break for Magallanes. Uh, the green uh, won. See, because we play it like water, This is he's going to have a tough time. Uh, escaping bogey here on six and uh yeah he's gonna end up with a bogey putt i don't remember what uh what difficulty level it is but all i know is he makes it <laughs> so but enrique he's uh now four over on his round him and uh McAdams are racing for the top as far as the high high score of the day out of these guys. And we're to uh, five in the lead group. 
Justin Wallace birdied four. And, well, he's going to take control on, on the five. On the fifth, on the C hole. So let's see, two, five, six on a par four. What does that get us? Legend. Uh, he's not a legend. Okay, so short game check. Green six. This is going to be a difficult putt for par. He's not stone. If he were stone, it would be double difficult. But uh, he's going to have to. Uh, well, he's, well, it looks like. Did he make. Yeah, he made that. He rolled the two there. So I'm so quick. I, I'm just buzzing through this trying to, uh, you know, trying to get this done in uh, a reasonable amount of time here. So uh, 36 is going to be rough in two. Green one, though, is going to be a pin check, it looks like, for a uh, row wetter. So we roll the white and the decider. If it's one dot, it's in. Otherwise, it's so it's two. That's an easy par putt. So all he has to do is make uh, and avoid the 6-6 six, six miss, and he... Rolls a 13, so he's good. And now Nick Yarlett. The Harlots are uh, here in full fours. One, two, four. As he gains... No, wait, no, he doesn't get control on this. It's uh, 12. So that's going to be rough and two. And so he made his putt. It was a, it was a moderate putt for par there, so... Pars around on number five. We're, we move to number nine. And so we have nine here. Uh, 412 yard par four corsets. Uh, it's three degrees of course difficulty and semi daunting. So not too tough of a hole, but we're going to end up with uh, Emmerich starting here, being the first off on the ninth as he's ready to make the turn. So as I'm sitting here fidgeting with the cards, making sure that. You can see them, even though it looks pretty uh, grainy. Maybe I need a different camera. I don't know. Need a new everything at this point. Eyes, face, <laughs> the whole you know, the whole uh, shebang. Like if I need a replacement of everything, but uh, that's okay. Uh, what am I waiting for here? I guess I just keep talking. Uh, so he gets control on it. It looks like it's a two, four, five. Kind of, all right, two five six. I guess it is actually. So let so it's going to be short game check because Emmerich's not a legend at this point in his career. He is a legend, but he doesn't have the legend quality. So it looks like this is a pin check, and he's going to end up with a moderate putt for par, which he makes. So all is well for Dustin. Not really. He's down it. To minus one so uh, Shinji Kanishi now you know it's uh, I have to I have to admit that like it's it's fun to do it live to, to have to like sit here and talk through this a lot it's pretty it's pretty rough uh <laughs> Because I'm trying to, like, back, uh, you know, I'm trying to, I, I keep looking through these guys, and it's just, it's not easy to follow. For one thing, I can tell that, like, the green and the black look kind of similar here on this camera setup. I don't know why um, the color isn't quite getting differentiated. Now, here is a, another one of these where we got to do the, uh, the clutch putt, and who is this for Westinghouse? He's gold, so he makes it. Gets another blue chip. Uh, so we're going to move on to eight with uh, the McAdams, Ockle, and Elliot group. But, you know, I would almost just as soon talk about the project itself. Um, you know, we're, we're in the third season here. We're getting down to, like, the last six tournaments. So, um, you know, there's no playoff in this season. I decided to get rid of that. Um and especially since these golfers here, except for Hockle. Hockle's the only one in any kind of contention right now. So when we get to him, maybe I'll try and walk through it. 
Um, but I could pretty much tell you right now that uh, Elliot and McAdams will par this, but um, I'll let you, I'll try and follow through Hockle when it's time. Uh, so didn't I already do Westinghouse? I thought I didn't. You know what? I think I forgot to switch over to whoever is the first to play. Oh, it might be Hockle here. It is Hockle. Anyway, uh, he is going to get, uh, he misses a clutch putt, so then his easy bogey comes up. So he had a clutch putt for par there. So I decided I don't really like the playoff in on the PGA Tour. So I just decided that for this season and probably for future seasons, I'm not going to do a playoff. I kind of like just having it straight up. So this is Elliot here. He's going to par it. Um, so we're going to have the PGA Championship finishing it out. That's the way it'll work. And um, that's... So there's his par made. You know, that that's the way I would like to do it. And the, the PGA is going to be worth a lot of points and a lot of money. And so we may have a lead change on that tournament. It's a possibility. But I just decided that the playoff is a little contrived, and uh, that's the way it is. So um, after this tournament, so I am trying to model the PGA in, a, in a, quite a few ways. One way is going to be um, a reshuffle of the guys who came up from the, uh, the Slacker Tour in the previous season. So they get shuffled based on their current points. So their priority, the guys with more points in this season are going to move closer to the top of the priority so they have more of a chance of making tournaments and earning points and money, which will help them possibly get their permanent card or their uh, their uh, their full tour card in the following year so that they will make more t as many tournaments as they want. Winning tournaments helps do that as well, but... Uh, so we're to Aberley on seven here, and it looks like a one three five as he has control. Uh, not Duffer, not Puny. He is a champion, so it's going to be the uh, special short game check, and he ends up with an easy birdie putt, and he needs a one to four. Could use that blue chip, but he, and he maybe he should have because he misses the birdie. And so that's an opportunity lost there for uh, Aberly to get to eight under, which would have pulled him within one. Now, Tsu Cheng Tian here on the. Uh, the decider die is yes, so this is a double cordial hole with a white six. That's a birdie. So he is going to move into a tie for the lead with Rowetter and Yarlet. So a. Uh, a nice move here for, uh, and uh, and we also get one for uh, for Magallanes, although he's well down the list. Minus four, he's going to need quite a run here in order to. Uh, he's going to need a rather stark run up the up the leaderboard. So Justin Wallace at six, that looks like an eleven. Looks like the rough in one with a green six, so it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a double difficult par putt. It looks like no wait no he's master, so he's going to end up he gets lucky there. Usually it's uh, doubled, but instead that's an easy par. So not sure why I was frittering with the the chips, but he didn't shouldn't need that to par that hole. Or actually, so he birdied that hole. So I'm not sure what what the heck my uh, I must have I must have missed what the roll was. But he birdied this birdies this hole, so he ends up moving to minus nine as well. Huh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Maybe I. Uh, Let's see. Well, it might have been the double difficult putt for birdie. Anyway, I don't know. 
like I said, when you're trying to watch these things after the fact, it gets a little tougher when you're trying to uh, parse through what's happening. Um, the camera does pretty well, but it's so much better when you're doing it live. So Roe Wetter, uh, looks like he makes his par, and now it's Yarlet's turn. So let's see what happens here with Nick Yarlet. Well, he has control, 355. Not a hacker, we go to experience. So for him, being an icon, it's going to be a, looks like a green three, which is going to be, if he's prospect, it's bad, but he doesn't have that, so it's an easy birdie putt. So we should roll green here. And when we roll green, if it's one to four, it's a birdie. And come on, Earl, roll it. Come on. Yep, yeah, there's a birdie. So Yarlet takes sole possession of the lead, goes to double digits, minus 10, through six holes. And we will move on to 10 with the Emmert group. One of the holes that doesn't have a name for some reason, but this is a three course control hole, 415 yards, par four, it has a caution symbol which means that if you roll on the three, four, or five on the white die, you have to add one to a normal difficulty putt. So anything in that double difficult to gimme range, you have to make it one tougher. So if it's a clutch putt, it doesn't get affected. And here I go yammering some more. Maybe I'm Maybe I'm cogent in this. Some days I am. Other days I'm rather uh, all over the place. But Yeah, it looks like uh, Emmert goes first here and he's going to get a par. Patient par. Give him a blue chip, Earl. There you go. He needs something. He's having a hell of a day. Uh, so uh, Westinghouse is going to take control. Is he? No, I don't know. I guess I didn't because I look like I messed with his chips, but I think I was just putting the marker down. So uh, Westinghouse, uh, he's going to end up with, uh, I believe, a, a moderate par putt here, I'm assuming. Looks like this is... Uh, um... Well, maybe he has a... That's interesting. I don't know what I did there. Uh, he used a blue chip, though. So... Oh, you know what? He missed a, he missed a clutch birdie putt. That's what happened. <laughs> he had a clutch birdie, and he missed it, because it was golf cam course. All right, so uh, Kanishi is uh, going to get 226 here, par 4. Two two six Yeoman Gilded no champion uh no so it goes to golf cam green and it's gonna just be it's a neutral green so this should be an easy par putt which is the high roll six six minutes you can see it up in the upper right hand corner of your screen so I'm sitting here thinking about it gee what is this I don't know. Yep, there it is. Easy par. And he makes it, so. Because it was off of the uh, golfer control, we didn't have to put the, the caution symbol in there. Uh, that's everybody, right? I think so. Everybody, 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 everybody. Everybody and nobody all at once. Yeah, so uh, Max Elliott. No relation to Sam Elliott. Or Chase Elliott. Or Cass Elliott. So. Uh, but maybe Bill Elliott. I didn't look that up. Well, wait. If he wasn't a relative to Chase Elliott, then he's probably not an, a relative to Bill Elliott. So. I don't know what I'm saying. That looks like a par to me. Is it? Yep. Yep. No. No. It's going to be a bogey. He ends up with a bogey. Poor Max. 
Max Elliott, the, uh, the, uh, he, he is icon. I thought he was a younger guy, but he's an icon. He, he just, uh, a late bloomer, I guess is what they call him. I'm going to get a drink here. So, uh, yeah, you got another patient par there. Uh, so McAdams red chip goes flying away. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't know where my role is. I don't know where my home is. All right, there it is. Right down the chute and into the dice tray. So, ah, what do we got? Uh, looks like, ooh, it looks like a, what, 13. Is that the old rough rooney Yeah, yeah, rough and two. So he has a double difficult there, I'm pretty sure. And, oh boy, he uh, goes to lag the sucker and he gets the worst ever. So, difficult bogey, and he misses that. Now a moderate double, and he makes that. So a hockle with a double at the turn. And his round, which was steady eddy for a while, it goes right off the rails and a bogey, double bogey finish. Finds himself minus two and... Pretty much out of contention at this point. Um, you know, it, for those at home, I would I would definitely be more liberal with the out of contention if I wasn't doing video with this. You just hate to explain, have to explain why somebody who's seven back gets birdie, birdie, birdie on the out of contention roll and ends up back in contention. But if you're at home doing it, I it's a game, and especially with this, this is fictional. So um, on eight, uh, Tien buys control, and um, uh, what what are we gonna do here? So it's three, four, six. Uh, what is this par four? But so he go has to go to the uh, oh he's dynamic. So he gets uh, he does get the. Uh, I mean, he, he ends up, he, he has a moderate birdie putt, I think, and then, so then he has to make the easy par, which he does make. Because he had uh, gallery cheers, he's uh, dynamic. So, Aberly now. Uh, he's got to make a clutch. Clutch to get that blue chip, and he does make it, so he gets one and gets his paw. A paw. And now uh, Enrique Magallanes, the Spanish assassin, he's uh, hasn't been killing too much today. His score card mostly. He's been um, <laughs> the pencil's just gotten a little bit too sharpened, and so whenever he writes in it, it just don't you hate that when you write and it just cuts right through the paper, and you're like. Dang it. I hate this. So he needs one of those like you get at the mini golf place where it's barely, there's barely any graphite showing, but it's just like kind of warmed over wood with a little bit of, little bit of black showing just for good measure. And don't worry, Magallanes is bogey in this one too, so. Uh, all right, while well, we're to Wallace now, somebody who really matters, and... Double cord. He does not. He's gonna have to take a patient par here. He does not get double cordial. The semi comes up raw there for him, so he's gonna stay one back now. Yarlet. So, what's gonna happen here with the leader? Four, four, five. So we look at Yarlet and his scorecard. And Yarla is semi hot, but the decider dies a no, so we have to go. He's not cold and he's not gilded, so we go to experience. That's a four, so it's going to be an easy birdie putt for for Nick here on seven, because he is an icon. So a chance to extend his lead to two, and it's a four. Just barely ru uh, rings around the cup and in, and uh, birdie for Yarla and the Harlots are. You know, they're just doing their thing. Uh, so that's going to be a birdie for Rowetter on the decider dies, the the real uh, factor. 
as the double cordial hole is put into effect. So he moves to within one. So he matches Yarlitz birdie. As we move to 11, the pa three, the pa three, 238 yards. This is a tough green. The hole itself, not so bad. Uh, five degrees course difficulty, though. So you're not going to go off your traits unless you pay for it. And who wants to pay for it, right? It's much better when you can get the milk for free. So, with all that said, looks like, uh, is it... Dustin, Dustin Emmerich, yeah. Uh, is this, what am I doing here? Uh, let's see, okay, I'm, we're starting to take some guys out of contention. McAdams, he's way down the list. Um, I decided here this was a point where it made sense for guys who were way out of contention. I mean, some of these guys are 11 stroke back. Elliot and McAdams both, both are 11 back. With I think it's eight to play or maybe nine to play, chances of them making any difference in the tournament here on out are pretty low. Um, I don't know. Did I make a decision on Emmerich here? It was getting to that point. I think. I don't know. I was doing some deliberations. Yep, and I decided to. So see you, Dustin. Ten back. Uh, eight to play. That's pretty weak. But I did give Kanishi and Westinghouse a chance here. Because uh, they're, they're nine back with eight to play. It's still a long shot. But I don't know. So this was out of contention roll. And Emmerich ends up with a par here. So... Probably could have moved these guys to out of contention. Uh, uh, Kanishi and Westinghouse, they're, the chances of them coming back are really, really low. Um, probably, probably no chance. There's probably a reason that, probably a reason that Keith recommends outside of six. But you know, I usually just stick with it. So Westinghouse buys control here. One five six par three. What does that end up being? A hacker or a gilded, which he's not. So it's going to be experience. He's icon. It's going to be a moderate birdie putt. And he needs a one or a two. And he makes a birdie. So he birdies 11. So we'll keep him in contention for another hole. Most likely. And Kanishi, since they're going to be probably out of contention, so he's using their chips. 3-3-4. Three, three, uh, champion, no he isn't, so it's going to be golf cam green, and it's challenging green, so this is not going to work out so well. What do we got here for that guy? What clutch putt for par? Well, he makes that, so can't earn a blue chip because he spent one, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're to Hockle, and then uh, McAdams and Elliot are both out of contention, so... But I think Hockle is going to be last to play here because he had the double bogey on nine. So we're going to do out of contention for McAdams. That looks like a... Is that a birdie? That's a birdie. About the only way he's made a birdie today. Uh, that's a par for Elliot, and now we'll get to Hockle. Franz. Ah, 56. It looks like golf cam course. Green 6. I think he's going to get a clutch birdie out of this. He is semi-gold. And he misses it, so he gets another red chip. Uh, he'll get a par. Barely. <laughs> 56. So, Hockle is edging on the... Uh, out of contention by my definition here. So we're back to nine. The turn, the turn with uh, Su Cheng Tian. 56, that looks like a bunker that possibly... It's not going to be the pot bunker, but it is... So a two is a good lie. 
but he doesn't have the recovery skill, so it's going to be a moderate par, I think. It's either moderate or easy. Let's see what happens. It's a par four. Uh, it looks like an easy par. He makes it. I grabbed two dice. That's why I deduced that. So now Rance Aberley. He gets a par. He's racking up the chips here. White, patient par. Takes it easy. Doesn't let the sound of his own wheels drive him crazy. Pretty pedestrian rhyme there, if you ask me. But, hey, I do like the Eagles, so. Uh, yeah, he has control. It's 3-3-6. Three, three, uh, is he hot? Uh, I don't know. Enrique. What is this hole nine? Uh, he's neutral, I'd say. He's not dynamic, so it's going to be golf cam green. It's like a challenging green. I think he bogeys this one, so that's a bogey. That's a bogey. So, Yarlet now, your leader, he is ahead by one. And we're on the eighth, so uh, it's going to be course controlled 36. That's the rough in two with a green four. And he had a moderate par and he misses, so now it's an easy bogey. So, he's going to drop back into the tie with Rowetter. So. Tough break there for Nick. Roll, bad time to roll a six. So row wetter 45 is going to be rough in two, but a green one looks like uh, looks like a chance maybe it. Uh, and he makes it. So a two shot swing here, pin chance. He rolls the one dot. And row wetter takes a one shot lead. So a big swing right here. On eight as we're heading towards the end of the front nine. And now Justin Wallace. Tough time for a one, no control here. And he's gonna get three. That's gonna I think that leads to a moderate par. Nah, it's it's a actually a gimme par, it looks like, because I rolled three dice. So that's gonna be a par for Wallace. So, uh, Rowetter with a one-shot lead as we get a look at 12. Well, I just realized that my mic was muted for the last several holes, so I'm going to have to... You will have enjoyed me narrating that the this uh, after the fact <laughs> so far, but now we're going to pick up with 12 here. It's a cordial... Um, actually, semi-cordial with only two degrees of course difficulty. 379-yard par four. Lemonade is its name. Undulating ridged fairway awaits the drive. Cross bunkers in front of the green. Prevent bump and run shots. Backward sloping green is a big drop off to the left. Lots of nice detail in the right up there. But we are going to be moving Kanishi out of contention after he wasn't able to birdie that. So he is now... Nine back with seven to play. But it will be uh, John Westinghouse first to play here on this semi cordial hole, and he's going to get a one, two, four. He's not a duffer. It is a firm green, so it's going to be a short game check. Green two. Is he stone? No, he gets a pin roll here. Let's see if he can uh, roll this chip from off the back of the green in. Nope. It's, oh, it's going to be a difficult bird, uh, par putt here. One to three. He does make it. Hold serve on that. Now we're going to do the other two guys. This is a semi cordial. We'll roll white and black. And we will roll the 
the cider die here. So the white is the first. That's going to be a birdie on semi-cordial. That will be Emmerich. And a par for Kanishi. All right, so uh, McAdams is out of contention, and so is an Elliot, so we will roll them. This is a neutral hole. I didn't need to roll the decider die. Two and one, so two is going to be the first guy. That's McAdams. That's par. Birdie for Elliot, and then we will take care of Hockle now. So, course control 56. That is... Uh, with no decider die, so it's going to be a bunker in one with a green one. Chunky, no, okay, he gets a chance to take a run at a pin roll here, but it's going to be another difficult par putt. He does make that. To 10, making the turn is Su Cheng Tian. Still very much in the mix for the title here. He'll take a par and a blue chip on the white six. Rance Aberly. He is going to hold on to chips right here. He's hoping for a one or a two. He gets a five, 56. Can be golf game course. Green five on a par four. Is it daunting? No. Is he scattered? No. He has a clutch birdie putt. He will use a blue chip here to go from neutral to gold. And it's in. Birdie for Aberley to minus eight. Can he make a Justin Thomas-like run on the back nine? Enrique. 12 is uh, bunker and two with a dot, so it's a deep bunker. It's going to be a little tougher. Again, we play it like the water. Bunker and two, par four. Is he a champion? Yes. So we haven't used this, so the, the decider die is bullet. This is going to be uh, a par for him, so he does get up and down. We didn't have to use this decider die before that, so that's good. Row wetter, your leader. Going to make the turn right here at 9. Course control 55. It's going to be rough in 1. Green three, is he a workman? No. So an easy second putt for par. He'd love to make the turn with the lead, and at least he'll have a share of the lead, depending on what Nick Yarlett does. Justin Wallace, two back. Can you find a birdie here? Mm, it'll be 15, which is, let's see. Decided, I, okay, it's rough and one, not coarse. So, rough and one, green six. Uh oh, and he is a master, though. He'll have a double difficult putt for birdie. So, he will lag this to give himself a, a gimme par. Wait, no, an easy par. And he makes that. So, avoids trouble because the, he earned master in the game day rolls. Choice quality gain. So, we gave him that. Now, Nick Yarlett. So, 15. It is going to be golf cam course. That check does not end up with a decider die. So, we just go to the course. Green 4. It's semi-daunting. And we need to use this again. Okay. So, easy putt for par. Which he makes. All right, so the leader's at the turn, and it's Row Wetter with a one-shot lead. All right, so we're at 13 here, and we're going to go up through this first group off in uh, on 14. Once we get through that round, then I'm going to take it live. Uh, probably 
on the evening of Memorial Day if my schedule allows that to work. So let's let's hope for that. But let's get through these next two holes for each of the gr groups of golfers here. Um, 456 yard princes. Um, uh, anyway, I was going to try and come up with a spin doctor's line, but it's not two princes, it's just princes. Three bunkers pinch the fairway and are normally driven over, I guess is what it means. Or driven, maybe you can drive into them. The approach must navigate not only a ridge which runs the spine of the green, but also bunkers short left and right. Out of bounds ha lies just beyond the green. So we do have a couple, like right here is one. Maybe it's only the one that could be out of bounds beyond the green. So um, three degrees of course control, and we have the... Um, caution symbol there so uh, Emmerich will be first and he's out of contention it's neutral so we just can roll one here and that's another birdie back-to-back -back birdies for him it's a, it's a long way to the top if you want to win the championship of the UK and here on home soil he has not been able to do that so here we are with uh, three so course control 44 for westinghouse rough and two green four he is not a workman so a moderate putt for par he makes that so what does that make him uh he's eight back with five to play Well, let's roll Kanishi here. He gets a birdie. And uh, we're going to take Westinghouse out of con contention as well. So we'll just be able to roll each of those, each of that group without a problem here. Now we're going to go to 12. This is semi cordial, and we've got Elliot and McAdams who are. Uh, first up so two is going to be Elliot he gets a par McAdams gets a birdie and then we're going to play Hockel because he's still close enough to be considered in contention although now he is what nine back with seven to play after this one I think we're probably going to burn him as well so uh, he has control four four six Legend or Bomber, neither of those. Hack or no, it's going to be right now. Right now he is neutral, not hot, so that's going to be a difficult putt for par, I believe. Let's see. Yep, difficult par putt. He makes it, but we're going to have these first two groups off. They're all going to be out of contention here because they are out of contention. And that will speed up the play just a tad. So 11, it's going to be Rance Aberley. He's going to grab control on this par 3. This is a good hole maybe to do it. He's starting to streak here, and he would like to be able to. So one four four on the par 3. He is a champion. He'll have an easy birdie putt, so he's going to try and make this straight up 1 to 4. And it's a five. Oh, maybe we should have used the other blue chip. All right. Well, this is a gimme par. Wasted opportunity. He stays three behind. That would have made him two back. It would have been getting a little interesting there. Now, Su Cheng Tien. He's going to take his chances here with a blue chip. See what he can do. Two, four, four. He is not utility, so we go to right now. Right now he is neutral. Not hot, so... Uh, that will be a double difficult putt for Birdie. He's going to have to lag it. Easy par makes that. Now it'll be Enrique. What do we got here for Enrique? He is... Nine back with eight to play. 
might even take him out of contention here. We will see. Um, three, so 23, rough and one, and a green one. So chance at a pin check here probably. He's not a workman, so let's see. Does he get the pin? No, it's going to be a moderate par with a four. He makes it. And to 10, it'll be row wetter on the T. Got to remember this uh, caution symbol here. He has control, two, three, four, not direct. I know that's the first check. Dynamic, he's not dynamic, so we go to right now. Right now he is semi-hot. Is he hot? No. So it's going to lead to a difficult birdie putt. He's going to try to make this. He needs a one. Yeah, he gets a two. So now a moderate par. He makes that. Justin Wallace. Three. So 24 is going to be golf cam green and a green two. So since the course is controlling this, that means that we have to honor this if it comes up to friendly, no, challenging, no. So it's going to be a moderate putt for par, not easy because of the caution symbol. He makes it. Now Nick Yarlett, an opening here. If he could get a one or a two, maybe a chance at a birdie. Let's see. Gets a two, so three, three, six. Is he hot? No. Dynamic, no. Go to golf cam green. Green three. Is it challenging? No. So we're going to have a clutch birdie putt. Semi gold. He would join Rowetter in the lead if he could make a one to four. That's a six. He's going to earn a red chip. Easy par putt. Makes it. All right, let's just keep going here. We're going to power on through this last iteration. Got a lot of out of contention. This should cut some time. So 14 is a semi-daunting par 5 with only 2 degrees of course control. So interesting there. Suez Canal. So uh, reference to the Middle Eastern uh, transportation uh, uh, route going from the Mediterranean to the Persian Sea, Persian Gulf. Uh, out of bounds runs the length of this hole. The approach must contend with pot bunkers and a green with steep drop offs. So um, we do have some out of bounds right down here, but we're not going to have to worry about that till we get to the final coverage. So we're going to roll three here on a semi daunting hole. We will roll a decider die, so it'll be. White first is two, that will be a par. Black is one with nothing, so that'll be another par. That'll be Kanishi. Three will be a par for Westinghouse. Okay, neutral hole. We don't need to roll the cider die this time. So we've got first golfer through five, that's a par. These are all pars. Par par okay to the 12 it's gonna be Rance Aberley let's see are we taking Magallanes out of here we shall It'll save us a little more time his fate has been sealed already so the semi cordial par 4 First up will be Rance Aberley. Got burned on the last hole. It's, he'll have control on this one. One four six par four. Legend or dynamic? He is a legend, so he will get a blue chip. And the gallery cheers that with a green one. Is he a champion? He is. He gets a gimme birdie putt. So just what the doctor ordered. He just needs to avoid sixes, and he does a birdie for Aberley to minus nine. He is within two. Continuing to make the charge. Now Su Cheng Tien. 
He also has control. One, three, six. Duffer or scatter. Neither of those. No. Is he a hero? No, he isn't, unfortunately. So mood. Tien is sunny. So this will be a moderate birdie putt. He's got to make it. If he gets a one or a two, he'll stay sunny. Otherwise, he's going to lose his sunniness. It's in. Tien, he doesn't get a blue chip, but he does get a birdie. And he is going to move to minus 10, one back. So things are shaping up where we've got a few guys ready to pounce. And we will roll semi-cordial Enrique as a par. Now, row wetter at the 11th. That'll be a par. Patient par. Take the par and run. Justin Wallace. Uh, yeah, he's champion in laser. He's going to take control on this guy and hope for a good roll. Three three five. Three three five. Is he a hero? That's the one thing he isn't. So it's gonna go to mood. Wallace is neither. So he's not stormy. So this will be an easy birdie putt. He needs a one to four. Oh, and he makes it. So he will turn sunny. And Wallace moves to within one. So we got four guys within a shot of the lead. Yarlett can join the lead here if he can get a birdie. Course control 33 is going to be golf cam course. And then a green two on a par three. Cordial no. Daunting no. It's an easy putt for par. Actually, no. It's going to be a moderate putt for par. And he does make it. So there we go. So uh, we are to where I usually pick up with live coverage in a random regular old tournament. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to leave you with Denny Rowetter at minus 11. Looking for a major. Ranked 81. This would really boost his chances of retaining its card uh, well, uh, winning a tournament itself is an exemption but uh, also would get him closer to maybe being uh, you know higher up the points better uh, better priority Wallace he's won two this year already so a major would also just be uh, really putting him in the running for uh, player of the year uh, a third win a major probably put him on top of the rankings too he's currently third Yarla as well as Tien how is this going to work out I'm not sure but that's why we're going to pick it up hopefully on the evening of Memorial Day we will pick it up and try and finish this out so thanks for watching hit like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll be back with more Tenacious Golf Tour here from the Championship of the United Kingdom See you soon.